weekend has officially begun, and we welcome you to this 2K Sports presentation of NBA Basketball. Alongside Craig Anthony and Steve Smith with David Aldridge on the sideline, this is Kevin Harlan. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thank you very much. We know Rudy Gobert is ultra competitive, but he knows it's not about winning his individual matchup. He said, it's a five on five game, a team concept. That's always been my mindset. Obviously, I take pride in being the best defensive player in this league, but I play to win. That's my focus. Kevin? Thanks, David. That's David Aldridge, our NBA Hall of Famer. Let's check out the Eastern Conference standings now that we're in the new year. We'll take a look at the 76ers. They hold the first place spot in the conference just right where they want to be. They've got momentum. And I think for the 76ers, they've been on a tremendous run this season. All the pieces were in place coming into the year, and they haven't missed a beat. Great chemistry, great coaching, and potential to do some great things in the postseason. Right. They knew teams would be gunning for them night in and night out. That's only fueled their commitment to putting a great product on the floor. And checking out Utah's opening lineup. Mitchell on the wing along with Bogdanovich. Favors and Gobert, the tough pair inside. And it's Conley in at the point. And for the 76ers, Harrison and Bede hold down the post for him. Matisse Thibel's out there with Simmons. And it's Green in at the three. Rejected by Harris. Stolen by Michael Conley. The Jazz working the ball around now. Mitchell with it. Providing around 26 and a half points a game. Rarely has an off night. That doesn't fall. Can't drop his first shot. He is such a great all-around player for over a decade now. Conley is one of the class acts in our league. He is, G.A., one of the best floor leaders we have. He's completely unselfish. Also, three-time NBA Sportsmanship Award winner. And in 2019, was named NBA Teammate of the Year. Now, here's Mitchell. Tries it from 19. It's hauled in by Harris. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Inside. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Harris has got his team on the board to start the game for Philadelphia. Jazz have gone 0-3 for the field to start the game. Outside Conley. The pass to Mitchell. Gobert dishes to Mitchell. Knocks it loose. Just five on the clock for three. Again, Mitchell missing. And Simmons has got the ball here for Philadelphia. They defeated Indiana in their last game. And you know what? And sometimes it's hard to say whether or not defensively you were on your game. But bottom line is their opponent didn't shoot it well. And you've got to take some of the credit from a defensive standpoint. They really played exhausting D out there, just hounding them all night long. Now, here's Mitchell. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Raptors in Toronto. Conley, the pass to Gobert. Back to Conley. Over Simmons. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Really no answer for Mike Conley when he's handling the rock like that. What a performance. Pass to Mitchell. Over Thibel. And there's Mitchell. That's good on the assist from Conley. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. Simmons passes to Green. And here's MB. Defended by Gobert. MB, no good. The Jazz have gone 2 of 6 from the field. Conley kicks to Gobert. Pass to Mitchell. That's tipped. In the first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Simmons passes to Embiid. That one 
Embiid's in. His first bucket of the game. He's one for two. And hit on the way up. Embiid's strong physically, but also mentally able to keep his focus. And here is Conley. Nine points last game. Takes it inside. Favors. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Harris. Looking at some numbers for Simmons. Over the last month, he has been spectacular. He's around 18 points per game, eight rebounds, and five assists. And what sets him apart is his rebounding. And as you can see, he's been in peak form. You know what? It's part effort, part instincts. You see teams trying to keep a body or two on him. But that's easier said than done. Bogdanovich, no luck. And so Simmons will bring it up for Philadelphia. Embiid sets the pick for Simmons. Down to five on the shot clock. Offensive rebound. Nice work on the board. He's paying off with the best. Just doing the job on the backboard. Mitchell outside. Pass to Favors. Conley loses to Mitchell. Favors sets the pick for Mitchell. The Jazz again can't hit it. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. And Simmons gets to Green. Here's the pass to Embiid. Outside for Simmons. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Well, Greg, with your son getting drafted, you join the ranks of some historic NBA father-son duo. Yeah, I got the opportunity to play with Arvita Sabonis in Portland and remember Montes as a little kid. No now kidding. he's an all-star last year. <laughs> you know, I don't think they're going to have an influx of that in the coming year. Dwayne Wade's son is a terrific player. We know about LeBron's son's ability. Uh, he's possibly heading to the league one day. You just never know. I, I'm, I'm, as a dad, it's going to get the opportunity to watch his son play excited. But uh, I think you're going to see more of this in the future. Uh, Cole and Greg Anthony. I like the way that sounds. <laughs> now, here's Mitchell to stop the drought. And then Mitchell with the dunk. I like that Donovan Mitchell's not afraid to attack the rim. He finished strong. Here's Simmons. Passes it to Embiid. Gobert with the block. Here's Conley. Steady offensive output from him, averaging more than 16 points a game. Bogdanovich passes to Gobert. Simmons against Conley. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Michael Conley. That is his first foul of the game. Oh, great defense. They anticipated the play and got there first. Seth Curry, he's checked in for Philadelphia. George Niang, he's checked in for Utah. Jordan Clarkson comes in for Mitchell. Philadelphia's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. And B dishes to Green. And Harris wide open. He shoots. Drills it from outside. Harris has got a foul. The veteran presence of Danny Green keeping his eyes up, finding his teammate wide open. Outside Conley. Count it good. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. The 76ers leading by three. Simmons passes to Green. Now here's Embiid, defended by Gobert. Embiid kicks to Green. Simmons looking it over. And the shot goes in. Six points for him. And when Simmons is inside, forget about it. He uses his skill and smarts to take advantage. Gobert with a screen on Simmons. 
Conley. This is to Bogdanovich. The feed now to Gobert. Pass to Niang. Over Harris. And it's off the back rim. No good. Outside, Simmons. Pass to Embiid. Over Gobert. Rebounded by the Jazz. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. And you've seen they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. The pass to the end. Off target with this three. Pass down in for Utah. It was a loss to Toronto. And defensively in that one, they needed to come up with big stops to quiet that crowd. And that's obviously easier said than done. Yes, yeah, the other team is feeding off that enthusiasm. You have to try and match that energy. He really can't buy a bucket, but his teammates have his back. Bogdanovich passes to Conley. He kicks to Clarkson. Gobert dishes to Clarkson. And stolen by Harris. There's the drive. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Harris has got seven points. It could be deceiving. The quickness of Harris's first step. Nice. Now Conley passes it to Gobert. Back to Conley. Pass to Bogdanovich. Conley with it. Five to shoot. They can use a bucket. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got his fifth rebound in this one. Simmons with it. He picked up 18 points in the last one against Indiana. There's Green with the three. Another three for Philadelphia. And what a way to start this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Now here's Conley. Gobert with a screen on green. Yes, that goes in. The jumper is wet. Boyan Bogdanovich, such a skilled shooter. And, and what a factor Ben Simmons is on the floor. Does so much for this team in every facet of the game. He's a triple-double threat whenever he suits up. And they've come out with a take no prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Conley scanning the floor. No good from outside. And sometimes people forget just how young Ben Simmons is, Greg. This is just the beginning for him. I mean, and that's what fans are missing about Simmons. His age. I mean, you can worry about his shot, but he has a long time to figure it out. He ended up having a Jason Kidd type of career where he becomes a solid shooter later on. Now, Green, following the miss by Michael Conley from deep. Beyond the arc. Gobert pulls it in. Gobert has got six rebounds now in the game. You know what, though? They keep calling his number despite the difficult quarter he's had. Now, here's Clarkson. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Toronto. Not laying to the lane. That's good for his third bucket. Now three for six from the field. And that's where Conley is most dangerous. Just amazing quickness on his way to the rack. Pass to Embiid. And it's stolen by Gobert. Conley the pass to Clarkson. Going inside. Count that one. So the first quarter is in the books. 76ers lead by four. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in just a moment.
And chatting earlier with Ben Simmons, he addressed the scrutiny that players have to deal with on a daily basis. For me, it, it comes with blocking criticism from people I don't really need to hear from. You know, I don't mind. Everyone has their opinion. Everyone's going to say something, um, which is fine. But at the same time, I got to worry about, you know, what I need to focus on. And with social media now, Greg blocking out the noise has become for these players even harder. I mean, truth is, people like to criticize others. We should be celebrating what Simmons has accomplished at a very young age. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the 76ers. They've gotten a lot of high-quality shots in the paint early on. That was clearly part of their game plan coming in. And also defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight. And, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Taking a look at the Jazz. They've got Gobert. Harrison out there with Donovan Mitchell. And it's Hughes in at the small fold. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Bojan Bogdanovic was a pro in Europe for a decade before he joined the NBA. Croatian sharpshooter says a lot of players who are happy over there, but I wanted to have another challenge to play against the best in the world. That was the only thing that was important to me. Guys, he's lived up to that promise. He loves that challenge, and he's having success. D.A., thank you. And the Jazz making a change here. Favors has checked in. Mitchell kicks to Harrison. Feeds it to Favors. Back to Harrison. Here he goes. It's good. This game is all even. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. And here's Maxi. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And B finds Milton. And that one is hammered home. Never a bad idea to run the old pick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, we'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Here's Harrison. The 76ers getting the buck. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. Now, here's Maxi. The pass to Court Mods. He feeds it to MB. Back to Court Mods. Gets the three pointer to fall. Korkmaz has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Here's Mitchell. Drives to the hoop. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. This is it for Embiid. Over favors. Embiid, no good. And it's Harrison with the ball for the Utah Jams. They trail by one. And it was pretty much a cakewalk for them the last time these two squared off. And had a clear advantage on the backboard. They generated second chance opportunities on one end, preventing them on the other end. That was the story of the game. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Jams. Their aggressiveness on D has been the most glaring aspect of this game so far. They have the heat turned all the way up in this first half. Yeah, and one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off of Turner. Hey, can you really compare players from completely different eras? I mean, people love to talk about the greatest of all time. You know, Kev, some players do transcend heroes, but there is no doubt about that. Wilt's a great example, and there are many others. But, but in reality, to your point, the style and the way in which the game was played was so different uh, that it isn't fair. I mean, all you can be is the best of your generation, or 
I'm the best, and I, I think that should stand no matter what the conversation is. Like, there's no doubt in your mind Oscar Robertson could play in this era as well as he played when he played. No doubt. Bill Russell, all those guys. Yes, the truly yes. great ones. So much of your ability to perform at a high level is built around your confidence and your belief in your abilities. And those guys had it as much as anybody who's ever played in here. Jazz have gotten just over 50% of their shots to drop here in the second quarter. They're five for nine. Now Mitchell. He has six. Over Milton. And that one goes long. 76ers have gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Pass to Embiid. There's Korkmaz. Howard, the pass to MB. Six to shoot. Over Favors. Utah with the rebound. Favors has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Now, here's Mitchell. Another shot. And Favors finishes it off. Favors has got the lead up to two now for Utah. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Maxi passes to Korkmaz. There's the feed to MD. Over Favors. It's rebounded by Derek Favors. Favors got his sixth rebound on the night. There's Harrison. Seven points in the game. Out of bounds will be 76ers ball. And it's never too early to start looking at our contenders for this year's dunk contest. There's no doubt it'll be a terrific showdown of some of the game's best athletes. And it seems like each year the bar keeps getting set higher. I mean, more props, crazier concepts to the competition, the level of dunks. I think this is going to be a good one. You look at Mitchell. He'll have a spot in the contest if he can hang out at the number four spot in the voting. And with his skills, you know he'll have a shot to win it if he can make it in. He's going to have a great shot. And, and Kevin, he, he's going to give it everything he's got if he can make it into the contest. I bet his dunks have some serious thought being put into it. And as always, we'll keep the updates coming in as we get closer to All-Star Weekend. One thing we already know, there are some great players pulling in both so far. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that this is going to be one of those duck contests that everybody's going to be tuning into. Now here's MB following the miss by Donovan Mitchell. You know, Greg, we can all agree that Joel Embiid's a superstar in the league with this play, but you get the feeling he's the most criticized superstar in the league right now as well. You know, pundits and fans have questioned his fitness, his fit, but at the end of the day, he does Shoot get two. it done, and the numbers speak for themselves. Embiid's an outspoken guy which can invite a lot of criticism. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. Really an underrated part of Embiid's game. Excellent as a foul shooter for a seven-footer, so you just can't hack away at it. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. Matisse Thibault checked in for Furkan Korkmaz. And it's Seth Curry in for Maxi. He hits both from the strike. Well, he's come through for them at the line today, and you love having a big fella who's so capable on his free throw. Here's Niang. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. To the inside. Here's Favors, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one on MB. Great job by Favors, really making the defense uncomfortable as he's going up with the shot. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. First one falls. Greg, the two words you and I don't like the most in this game, load management. Why do we see more of it now than when you played in the game? Uh, a couple of things. Uh, I think sports science has evolved, and I've talked to a ton of coaches about this. The reality is that 
now they don't determine whether or not a guy's going to play. It's going to be the, the people that work with the strength and conditioning. They determine if a guy is ready to go. Secondly, I would also say the contracts now, the investments that teams have in these assets, are going to try to prolong their careers as long as possible. And so I think it's a smart move from an investment standpoint. You bring up some great points. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And now we get a chance to check out Donovan Mitchell. He's been in good form here the last few weeks. 13th in scoring, and he's as opportunistic as anybody defensively, ranking among the top 15 league-wide in steals per game. And yeah, one of the most dangerous scorers in the game. He's already come up big in some key games this year. His teammates really feed off his presence at home. Down he goes. Nice one there from Niang. Good job by Mitchell, trusting his teammates. And in turn, that's going to open up opportunities for him. And Simmons kicks to Harris. To Bible. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Elbow shot is on the way. He can't get it to go. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on it. Now the pass to Niang. Philadelphia with the rebound. Simmons got six rebounds here tonight. Curry passes to Harris. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Harris has got nine points. And you see there Tobias with body control to take the hit, still complete the play. Harrison kicks to Niang. Passes to Clarkson. Here's Niang, guarded by Harris, shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And let's see now which shooting guards have been on target the most over the last 10 games. Fifth, Jordan Clarkson. You know, just ask this group. Sometimes when you're hot, you're hot. And it's a comforting feeling for a coach to know you've got one of those guys roaming on the perimeter. And they're not too bad at attacking the basket either. That's why some of their shooting percentages are so crazy high. They will work to get those high-quality chances inside. The first free throw is good. A different look for Utah. Rudy Gobert comes in for Derek Favors. And Bogdanovich is subbed in for Mitchell. So he hits both of them. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. To Howard. Feeds it to Harris. The rebound by Niang. And so Clarkson will bring it up for the jam. Gobert with a screen on Curry. Decent look for mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. Pass to Harris. With the fadeaway. That shot, no good. Now the Jazz take it the other way. Here's Harrison. He has seven. This is to Clarkson. The shot misses. Curry was a nice D. Simmons with it. The pass to Harris. On the wing. Land soft on the front of the rim and drops. Harris has got four points this quarter. Just another shot in his arsenal. Tobias with the mid-range jumper. And here's Clarkson. Some stats for him. He averages over 21 points a game. Master in the end. From outside, off the mark. Philadelphia's gone. One or two on three pointers here in the second quarter. So and slam dunk by Harris. The defense has tried to make adjustments, but Tobias is smart. He's adjusting back. 
Clarkson surveying the floor. Here's a pass to Clarkson. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Greg is a point guard. You must have had so much fun being surrounded by so much terrific talent at UNLV. You know, Larry Johnson, Stacy Ogman, I mean, I could go on and on. And you're right, I was blessed to play alongside these guys. They were incredible talents, finishers. And, you know, you don't always appreciate it going through that moment. But sure. the fact that we're all still close and stay in contact, uh, man, what an awesome experience to be a part of that team. Chemistry must have been off the charts on that team. It, it was, and, and we had a lot of personalities, man. It was a different era back then. Uh, but I tell you, again, I wouldn't trade that experience for anything. Michael Conley, he's checked in for Utah. Good on the second free throw. And, and you know, Clarkson... Entering the league as a second-round pick, a, a little unsung for most of his career, but always seems to find a way to contribute. Now here is Howard, still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's Harris, again, Philadelphia. So reliable. They've really leaned on him at the offensive end. Jazz trail by three. Conley, this is to Bogdanovich. Nice move. And it's out of bounds. Utah able to retain possession here. So it's Utah now. Gobert with the screen on Kirk. I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is to get the two points, not necessarily the dramatic. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, didn't he? My goodness. Simmons finds Heibel. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And uh, 101 left here in the second. In the end. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Niang's got a couple of three-pointers in the second for Utah. Now here's Curry. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Simmons on the wing. Popped up there for Howard. And stolen by Gobert. against Simmons. Conley the pass to Clarkson. Let's it go from deep. Rebound by the 76ers. They've led by as much as 10. They've got the Wizards ahead of them. Their next game in Washington. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a brick pass. Now Clarkson shoots the three, connects from three-point range. Clarkson's got the game tied up here for the Jams. Tobias Harris, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Philadelphia 76ers. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Joel, as you look at the game so far, how would you evaluate yourself? I think defensively I'm doing pretty good. Offensively, I still got to work on a lot of stuff. But it's going well. I just got to calm down, slow down, let the game come to me, and we'll be all, all good. Hey, thanks for your time, man. See you in the second half. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Tremendous first half. Glad to have you back. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jetsman. What a game it's been for Tobias Harris. He ended up with 15 points and one block. 
It's been quite a night so far for him. Let's start with you, Shaq. What'd you think about the 76ers? I think they let the game come to them, but they haven't got to the foul line enough, Ernie. That's an area where they're getting beat. I'd like to see them press to action a little bit more. And Kenny, let's get your input on the Jazz. Efficiency, you know, I, I think that's big. That's a key to success. You got to protect the basketball. You can't make those risky passes that lead to highlight film dunks. So I thought it was a great job. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See you, everybody, with Kevin Harlan. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. We've seen a tremendous game from Harris. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient, and it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. The 76ers are shooting at a decent 44% clip here. Harris and Embiid hold down the post for him. Matisse Thibel's out there with Simmons. And it's Green in at the small forward position. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Thibel can't get it to go. And so Conley will bring the ball up for Utah. Kicks to Mitchell. Driving in. And it's out of bounds. Utah able to retain possession here. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? Every basket's a big one in a tight game, and he is not about to give up an easy look. Up top, Gobert. And here's Conley outside. They get it again. Favors. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. Derek Favors is a strong-willed player who fights for extra possessions. You've got to box this guy out whenever a shot goes up. Now here's MB. Running around 26 and a half points a game. Really has an off line. But they get it done. Harris outside, and he drives in, and slam dunk by Harris. Beautiful handles by Tobias Harris, a tough cover off the dribble. Jazz have gone one of three since starting the second half. And it's blocked by Simmons. Green against Bogdanovich. Stolen by Mitchell. Pass to Conley. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. Favors sets the pick for Conley. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Here's Philadelphia. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. And when you talk about certain players having that it factor, Donovan Mitchell fits that bill. He does. Confident in his approach, GA. Fearless on his attack. Donovan Mitchell is one of those guys who can go off for 50 if you let him get into rhythm. As long as he's in Utah, that team will remain competitive. Now here's Conley. He's got six. Outside Bogdanovich. Another miss by Utah. They don't like what they've been doing down low in the post. Simmons passes to Embiid. Harris is free on Gobert. And there's the call on Joel Embiid. That's foul number two for him. A really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. And the 76ers making a change here. Maxi's checked in. Utah's getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Mitchell dishes to Favors. Here's Conley. Mitchell 
right side. With the drive. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Maxi. Yeah, so explosive. More often than not, Mitchell will beat you to the spot. For Utah, they have missed two free throws in the game, going five for seven. Yeah, and over the course of the season, they're a respectable 78%. That comes in handy in close games. Free throw drops for Mitchell. I love Donovan Mitchell's versatility as a scorer. Half court, in transition, at the line, adapts his game to whatever the night calls for. And Mitchell drops them both. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. And slam dunk by Harris. And with off the charts awareness, Simmons makes plays that others simply don't see. Outside Conley is the dish to Mitchell. And as a bouquet kicks to Mitchell. Driving inside. Uses the glass to finish the way. Mitchell's got the lead up to two now for the Jams. Great timing. That could be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Harris outside. To the paint. Embiid inside. He's covered by Azubuki. Embiid, no good. On the wing, Hughes. Conley against Simmons. Conley gets to Azubuki. Mitchell outside. Shot clock at six. And the three off target. Having a shaky time from the floor, but his teammates have been picking up the slack. Maxi passes to Embiid, and they double up Embiid. On the wing, Green, over by Conley. Maxi, no good. Utah leading. Hughes with it. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Favors with the screen. He takes it in, and he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big time move and a big time finish. Now, here's Green. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. Here's Embiid. To the right side. Here's Maxi. And out of bounds as the Jazz gain possession. Now a chance to check out the top NBA block leaders. Fourth, Joel Embiid. And, of course, Rudy Gobert. Those two have both mastered the art of the shot block. And believe me, guys, it is an art. It's not all about size. Utah leading by four. And here is Mitchell. Ten points for him. And there's the pass to come. And Sabuki trying to break through. Oh, good with the triple. And I thought that was going to drop. Looks good from here. Outside, Simmons. Looking for Harris. He gets it there. Overcome. Harris misses. Jay shooting pretty terrible here in the third quarter in around 30%. Out to the right lane. Nice ball movement by Utah. Here's Mitchell. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got his third assist on the night. The 76ers trail by six. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Stolen. Passes it to Hughes. Here's the three. That one's rebounded by Embiid. Embiid's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. 
Simmons. Oh, Simmons. Oh, Simmons. Oh, Simmons. Embiid with a screen on top. Here's Maxi. The 76ers again can't hit it. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for Utah. He dishes it to Mitchell. Now Hughes. Back to Mitchell. Fires the three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And Beach got 13 rebounds in the game. See them. Been a while, but he finally hits one to go. Embiid's got six points. Jazz leading by four. And a first time out of the game called for Utah. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. For a different look here. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for Tobias Harris. Korkmaz comes in for Danny Green. Shake Milton, he's checked in for Maxi. And it's Seth Curry in for Ben Simmons. And it's out of bounds. Utah able to retain possession here. And let's check out a breakdown looking at some of the stats for Donovan Mitchell. And guys, for a measure of how he's performing offensively, look no further than the true shooting percentage. There's been a steady drop in his last five games, and he's got to be scrambling now to get that field back. There's Harrison. He has seven. The drive by Mitchell. Magnificent rejection. It's three on three on the fast break. Curry on the wing. Pass to Embiid. Rebound, Utah. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they've dug this hole. Now, here's Clarkson. Eight points for him. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. And he's led the league in block shots on multiple occasions. And Howard's still a presence down low. Embiid trying to break loose. Offensive rebound. He goes up again. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Really uh, the right play defensively. If you can't block, force him to the line. Hey, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for the Jazz. One thing that stood out all game is the consistent penetration they've gotten. Yeah, but, but they also never seem to get cold from mid-range. Just kept hitting those shots with consistency. The free throw drops for MB. And MB drops them both. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Clarkson passes to Azabuki. Here's Clarkson. And 
And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. No question, he got blocked on that shot. The Jazz have gone seven of nine from the free throw line tonight. Shooting two. Throw good, Clarkson. That one misses. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising it's such a tight game. The best one B. Yep, that one goes. And B's got six in the quarter. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. Pass to the end. A three. Rebounded by Howard. Howard's got his sixth rebound on the night. And so Curry will bring it up for Philadelphia. The pass to Newton. He kicks it to Kirk. Shot clock at five. Mitchell with it. 12 points for him. From outside the arc. Rebound by the 76ers. Howard's got his second rebound here tonight. Floyd Howard with the finish. And they have scraped and clawed to get back into this thing. Just chipping away little by little and finally now taking the lead. For Philadelphia, they have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. And 74% has been the mark for them on the season thus far. Rudy Gobert, he's checked in for the Jazz. Bogdanovich comes in for Donovan Mitchell. And Howard may be the most physically imposing player in the game today. His strength still sets him apart. Here's Harrison. He has seven. Bogdanovich inside. Defended by Milton. The end gets to Clarkson. The Jazz with another miss. Philadelphia with the ball. They're on a 9 to 1 run. This is it to Howard. He's looking for Embiid and finds him. It's good. Embiid's got eight points in the quarter. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic. It is a big part of why we've been able to get these good looks. Astro Nia, the free ball. Milton grabs the ball. He's had a tough time getting it going, and he's put this team behind the eight ball. These players have been dominant on the glass in their last 10 games, leading the NBA in rebounding. Number one is Joel Embiid. Fourth, Rudy Gobert. The work this twosome has done on the boards over that period cannot be overlooked. They've both been big factors. throw good Milton Tobias Harris is checked in for Dwight Howard both good from the line that time we've got 123 left in the third Here's Harrison. He's got seven. Gobert with a screen on Kirk. Here's Harrison. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. 
Three to one. Hey guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. The Jazz have attempted 11 free throws today and converted eight of them. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. The 76ers leading by three. Outside through. Hands to Harris. And the pass to MB. Pocket six. Releases. Cool. And Harris gets the assist. MB just got ten points in the quarter. I don't know what coach told him at halftime, but he is shooting the lights out right now. Here's Harrison. There's 37 seconds left to play in the third. And no one near Clarkson as he lets it go. And a miss there on the triple. Philadelphia's gotten blank from three point lane so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. To the wing right side. There's MB. Passes it to Kokmaz. Yes, stolen by Gobert. And up top. No good on the three. And we've watched three so far in this one. 76ers on top as they wrap up the third quarter on a 15 to 4 run. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed. And you love to see your off guard taking over the play making duties with this much skill. Very unselfish. If you appreciate teamwork, this is the kind of play that will get you up out of your seat. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. And so in the game for the Jazz. Favors and Gobert, the tough pair inside. Harrison out there with Jordan Clarkson. And it's Bogdanovich in at the three, the small four. Now here's Bogdanovich. Just five to shoot. Gobert with a screen for Bogdanovich. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. Curry passes to Simmons. This one for three. There's Embiid, and he uses the glass on the way. And the 76ers lead by seven. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. Here's Clarkson, and it's blocked. What a play as he just snatches the shot out of midair. And here's Harris from the arc. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got six assists in the game. A good look there, and he didn't waste it the second three of the game. Now, here's Clarkson. Has to go there. Bogdanovich looking around. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. And seven shots it in. That gives him the double double. Ten points and ten rebounds. This is where Tobias has really improved. Keeping his eyes up, making plays for others. Now here's Gobert. Dishes it to Clarkson. And MP with the block. With plus agility. Great recipe for blocking shots. Embiid's one of the best to do it. Maxi passes to Simmons. And they double up Simmons. Embiid with 
the screen on Clemson. It's three outside. Another three for Philadelphia. What I like here, even with the big lead, they continue to execute their offense. They've taken nothing for granted. You can see they're playing the moment rather than the score. In for the Jazz. Donovan Mitchell's checked in for Clarkson. And it's Conley in for Shaquille Harrison. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, during the last break, I heard Quinn Snyder talking with his team. He was begging them to step it up. He said, we've got to make the move now. We're going to be out of time. Have a luck. Give it everything you've got out there. Kevin? Okay, David. Much appreciated. Now, here's Mitchell. Barry's the long-range jumper. Mitchell's got nine points now in just the second half. Terrific job in the screen and roll. Mitchell creates, whether it be for others or for himself. Simmons passes to Harris. Outside, Simmons. Pass to Embiid. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Shoots it. And yep. And they drop to rolling around the rim. Harris has got five points now this quarter. Always looking under control. Harris maintains composure, even with the clock running down. Mitchell looking it over. It is good. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. Simmons against Conley. Simmons passes to Harris. Embiid with a screen on Fables. Who is in another board? He holds in his 20th rebound. Dominating the ball. You really have to be careful with Gobert lurking around. He'll send it back. Now here's Conley. After the miss from Joel Embiid. Conley kicks to Mitchell. Three pointer and Philadelphia grabs the miss. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Simmons passes to Embiid. And here's Maxi. Outside Green. In the corner, it's Harris. Embiid trying to break loose. Tries again, and he sinks the layup. And you like to see since the half now. He's finally starting to come around. Now Conley. Here's Mitchell. Again, Mitchell missing. Gobert trying to get open. The Jazz again can't hit it. Philadelphia with the ball. They're on a 14-5 run. The pass to Harris. And here's MB. Over Gobert. Rebound by Mitchell. The defense is right there. Quality contest, and they threw him off his rhythm. Solid 
solid shot from the distance of about 14 feet. Mitchell's got seven points here in this quarter. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Passes to Embiid. Gobert pulls it in. Gobert's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Outside Conley. Favor sets the pick for Conley. Driving to the basket. And Conley is so smart at exploiting holes in the defense on the drive. He's incredibly effective at drawing fouls. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Philadelphia. Anytime you get as many points from the paint as they have, you know you've got a good thing going. And how about their post play? I mean, they're getting good offensive execution on the low block. He throw good, Conley. It's so good to see Mike Conley out there. After all the injuries, I just love how the offense runs with him at the helm. Matisse Thibel checked in for Philadelphia. And so Mike Conley nails both of them. And this is one of the things they need to keep doing in the second half to get this win. Keep knocking down those free throws. They've been sensational here at the moment. Green takes turn here. That's when B. Over Gobert. That one is good from Joel Embiid. Embiid's got 16 here in the second half. Nothing better than a hustle play like that. It gets the whole team amped up. Sets the example for everyone. Down the kicks to Mitchell. Into the lane. Banked in off the glass. Mitchell's got nine points now in the quarter. They are at their best when Mitchell pushes the action. His aggressiveness raises the level of this team. Hands to Harris. Here's Fable. Oh, good on the triple. Jazz trail by 10. Now here is Conley. Kicks it to Bogdanovich. On left of the wing. The pass to Gobert. It's stolen by Green. Fires for three. It's good from long range. And the 76ers lead by 13. A tremendous floor spacer. Danny Green has that sniper's mentality. Mitchell finds Gobert. Nice ball movement by Utah. Mitchell passes to Gobert. Simmons with it. Pass to Harris. Back to Simmons. There's Embiid. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. And who draws more fouls than Embiid? Very few players, if any. Too much size and, and really too much skill to defend. And he makes the first. And they're drawing more whistles and working their way to the line here in the second half. And MB drops them both. And it's Conley with the ball for the Utah Jams. Down by 15. Dish now to Mitchell. Driving the lane. And now a look at the upcoming schedule for the Utah Jazz. On Sunday, they'll go up against LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers. Then on Wednesday, they'll be taking on Jonas Valanciunas and the Memphis Grizzlies.
And for that game against the Timberwolves, take a break. That's take a break. going to be one where it would take a lot of errors and maybe a cold shooting night for things to go wrong. They just have that much of an advantage over that team. And he knocks down the first one. So he gets them both. It's interesting. No free throw attempts for him in the first half. He's finally pushing the action and reaping the reward. Here's Simmons. He dishes it to Green. And it's Thibel in the corner. Six on the shot clock. Plays it up and banks it in. And the 76ers lead by 15. And you're going to take as many of those high percentage shots as you can get. And here is Conley. Pass to Mitchell. And there's the drive. And it's Mitchell with the jam. Well, beyond the production, Mitchell gives this team energy, spirit. They ride off his adrenaline. Simmons passes to Green. He feeds it to MB. Back to Green. Top of the key, Harris. A three from Simmons. Another three for Philadelphia. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. And they're doing a better job of creating space. And here is Conley after Ben Simmons hitting the three. Favors with a screen on Simmons. Good work there as it goes. Smooth off the fingertip. Mike Conley floating it in beautifully. Here's Feibel. Outside, Simmons. He kicks it to Embiid. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They have came in focused and they've executed. Seventeen. Mitchell outside. Has to go bare. The Jazz working the ball around now. The baseline jam. Gets the front of the rim and out. Philadelphia's gone four six from beyond the arc in the fourth quarter so far. Outside Simmons. Harris up top. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got assist number eight here in this one already. We've got 148 left in the fourth quarter. Outside Conley. At the elbow, it's go big. Outside Bogdanovich. Drills the three-pointer. Can't lose track of Bogdanovich defensively as he doesn't need much time to get his shot off. And this is what they wanted, I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for Philadelphia. Their shot blocking turned out to give them a big advantage in this game. Yeah, excellent defense around the rim there, Kevin. That They were disciplined and focused. And a milestone win for the season. This will push their victory total to 20 wins even. A two-game season series. They win them both. They complete the sweep. And a lot of players tonight help contribute to this performance. But in particular, a real good game it was for Joel Embiid. He was really important under the basket, making the plays down low and getting position to pull in rebounds.
present our New Balance Player of the Game, Joel Embiid. And as you'd expect, he's done most of his damage in that low block. I mean, that was the game plan to get it to him in the paint and just let him go to work. And boy, has the big fella delivered. He has just killed them down low. These fans love him, and tonight he's given them plenty to cheer about. Eight seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Brantley, guarded by Brantley. Count it. And you gotta like that they found something positive here, something that maybe carry overs into the next game. They put together some great possessions here at the end. It's a shame they could have used this run much earlier. And it's the 76ers with the ball. After the basket by Utah. And that one's good. Put miles inspired tonight they fought hard and at crucial points just made the plays especially during this last run which ultimately put the game away here's Brantley here's Oni no good there Brantley with some nice D It's the 76ers winning this one easily. They poured it on tonight with Dominic showing in front of the crowd that loved every minute of And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home no doubt helps, and the execution was flawless. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Thank you, Kevin. Joel, we've heard in the past some people questioning your level of fitness. What's your response? You know, I'm just going to keep on doing what I've been doing this year and not being healthy. And uh, I haven't been injured. And I'm going to try to keep that. I'm just trying to gonna keep that way. So. Well, whatever you're doing is working, man. So keep it up. Congratulations. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For David Aldridge. Greg Anthony and Steve Smith and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.